Good afternoon. Hi. Hi, my name is Zahir Abbas. I'm your clinician for the afternoon. Can I just confirm your full name and date of birth, please? Yeah, it's Brendan Evans and it's 26th of February, 1990. Lovely, Brendan. Uh, Brendan, Mr. Evans, what would you prefer? Brendan, thank you. Thank you, Brendan. And how old are you, Brendan? 34. 34, lovely. Like I say, my name is Zahir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Brendan, uh, I understand you've come here today because you've identified a lump uh, in the private region down there. Would that be accurate? Yeah. Lovely. Um, would you mind, I'm going to ask you a few questions around this, just to try and understand what the, the, the cause of the lump might be or, or what it might be. And then what I'll be doing is I'll be sharing that information with the medical team just to inform the management. Uh, so as far as confidentiality is concerned, this will remain in the structures of confidence. Is that okay with you? That's fine. Yeah. Wonderful. So can you tell me a little bit more about this lump, please, uh, Brendan? Yeah, of course. Um, so I think it was about two weeks ago, just in the shower. Um, it was really just sort of through washing mm -hmm. um just felt this little twinge in my left testicle so mm -hmm. it just had a, a bit more of a feel mm -hmm. i just noticed a sort of a hard lump mm -hmm. um down there really okay and and could you just help me to understand where exactly the lump was and in, in, in the area that you speak of yeah so it's sort of on the side sort of lower just lower down Okay, and is this on the testicle or is it on the, on the actual overlying skin, what we call the scrotal sac, where, where exactly is it, or is it like a penile shaft? Yeah, so, so it definitely feels like it's on my testicle. Okay, okay. Yeah. The right or the left? Left. And have you explored the right testicle? Have you had a feel like that in the test? Yeah, so straight away. Okay. Just to make sure that everything sure. was okay, but okay. I suppose I don't know what. No, no, okay, understandable. And, and did you notice any lumps on the right side? No. Okay, lovely. So um, what I'm gathering is you've identified a lump on the left testicle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's confined to that area is what you're telling me from yeah. here. Nothing on the right hand side. And this was some two weeks ago while you were showering and just giving yourself a bit of a clean. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And in, in terms of the actual lump itself, what, what else can you describe in terms of what you felt aside from the, the twinge? Um, it, it's, it's just really, really firm. Obviously, testicle mm -hmm. is quite smooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I wouldn't say this area is particularly sort of sharp or, or craggy. It, was, it just feels firm. Okay. Like, like not like my testicle. Really. Okay. Would you say, I know you've used a couple of terms here, smooth and then craggy. So would you say this was irregular and rough on the surface? Or would you say it was a smooth nodule that you're feeling? Um, I'd probably say it's more smooth. Okay. Okay. Than yeah. than super craggy, but sure. You know. Sure. And and how big would you say it was if you were to say a, a, relative to a pea size or smaller, bigger? Yeah, it definitely fe it definitely feels that I can put it between two of my two of my fingers. Okay. Okay. So maybe I don't know. I'm guessing just under a centimetre. Sure, sure. And is it, is it kind of is it rubbery or is it firm? Is it tender? It's definitely tender. Okay. When when I've when I've touched it, I mean, mm. sitting here, you know, I can't really notice it, but when, mm. I've, when I touch it, it definitely causes a bit of pain. Okay. Now, I know it's a sensitive area yeah. and, and testicles are naturally, they can be quite tender when yeah. you can palpate, particularly if you apply any amount of pressure. Would you say this tenderness that you speak of over the nodule, and I will refer to it as a nodule yeah. or lump, is different in nature to the usual tenderness that you might get when you are? Yeah, hmm? yeah, I, I seem to think so. Okay, 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 fine. And the right side that you said, and how about the actual sc the, the, the scrotal sac itself, the actual overlying skin? Have you noticed any changes, discolorations, anything there at all? I'm not really, no. I'm going to say no, but okay. I've not. You're not really exploring yeah. properly, no problem, and that's what we're here for. Yeah. Uh, how about the, uh, and again, pardon me for, for the intrusion in some of the questions here, but how about the penile shaft? Have you noticed any changes to that at all? No, nothing. No, 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 no. lumps, bumps, or nothing otherwise that would concern you. Any discharge from there at all? No. Either? No, any change to your urination in any way, shape, or form? Uh, not to my urination, mm -hmm. um, but I, sp I suppose with my partner, mm -hmm. um, well, a sort of recent partner, um that sort of reported so sort of, a couple of weeks ago now maybe three just a bit of it was sort of a pinky tinge okay um sort of when i've you know produced sperm okay but okay. yes i haven't really since or, or i've not noticed that mm. so i'm not for okay anything okay. of it really sure sure 
Okay, you mentioned partners, so I, I'll, I'll yeah. take us on to that okay. area if that's okay with you. And, and uh, again, I do apologize for the intrusion in some of this questioning here. Okay. Uh, but I'm just going to explore a little bit about your sexual practice yeah. and history, if that's okay with you. Yeah, lovely. So, you mentioned a sexual partner. Are we, are we referring here to as a, as a, a female or a male? Yeah, female partner. Female. And as it always female partners that you... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, pardon me again for asking. Um, in terms of the partner, uh, has that, is this a monogamous relationship or, or what do we have here? So so we're not sort of officially okay. together. So sure. I've, I've had a couple of, of partners in the last sort of six months. Okay, okay. And are you, are you kind of seeing a partner and then moving on to another partner before you move on? Or are you kind of seeing the two interchangeably or, or otherwise? Um... I, I suppose I've, I've seen them at the same time. Okay, okay. And again, pardon me for the intrusion here, uh, the practice itself, is this unprotected, protected? Unprotected. Unprotected. Yeah. Uh, are you using any formal contraceptions? Is, is your fair lady using or are you using anything otherwise? Um, so I know that one lady's um, using the injection, but okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the other. Okay, okay. And just, just a, a point to note, um, you know, contraception doesn't actually provide any protection from sexually transmitted infection. I'm not suggesting you have one here, but uh, just so you're aware, and I'm sure you are at 34, but uh, just a, a polite awareness uh, that, you know, we do run the risk of such a thing, especially if you've got a, a relation that's not quite monogamous yeah. in itself. Um, in terms of your own sexual history, do you have any past uh, history of any sexually transmitted infections? I had chlamydia when I was 18. Okay. Um, okay. And but went to the good clinic mm -hmm. and was treated and treated yeah. successfully. Any complications from that? No. Any recurrences from that? No. No. Uh, and when was the last time you had any uh, screening for any sexually transmitted infections? Uh, gosh, maybe four or five years ago. Okay. okay. Yeah. And how about your partners? Have have they had any uh, screening that you're aware of? Not really asked. No. Okay. Okay. It's worth sometimes yeah. exploring an element and perhaps you could do a self referral again if you so wish. Yeah. But certainly maybe a conversation with them to have also yeah. just to be sure. Um, okay, right. so we'll go back to the actual uh, testicular lump itself uh, for where we are. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, some twinge, uh, a pink tinge to the um, the ejaculation or the ejaculate that you have. Uh, how about the urination and changes to your colour or uh, smell or any changes to that? Any no. pain on passing urine? No. Not in there at all. Okay, so the lump itself, uh, from what I gather, is confined to the left testicle. It's uh, smooth, it's, it's palpable, it's uh, firm, and it's tender, is mm -hmm. what I'm told. Yeah. There's no uh, changes to your overlying skin, there's no yeah. changes to your uh, penile shaft, and there's no discharge or otherwise. Um, how are you in yourself? Are you any, any fevers, temperatures, and feeling under the weather? No, fine. Mm. fine and really. any, um, any night sweats or un unintentional weight loss or unexplained weight loss? No, I mean, with the weight loss, I'm, I'm quite active and I'm, mm. you know, um, just come back from uh, knee injury, so I'm back into sports, so I'm like losing a okay. little bit of weight, but I'm, you know. Well, within what you want to expect and what you want. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you do for a living? Uh, uh, construction sites. Okay. Any any physical exertion there, or is this more desperate? Every day. Every day. Okay. And and then I mean, any history of any hernias or anything like that in the past that you're aware of? Um, no. Hernias. Okay. But you put any lumps or, or any kind of lumps, bumps in the groin region or otherwise? That no, you're nothing I've noticed. noticed. This lump that you've got, uh, does it change in size in any way when you cough or sneeze? I mean, I mean, if, you've not, if you've not tried that, I, I completely yeah. understand the um, kind of area. Yeah, I can't say. I've, I've, not, I've not noticed when I've strained that I've felt a, okay. a different sensation. Okay. Okay. okay, lovely. Good. So I think that's everything that I wanted to gather. Um, I'm just now going to go into your past medical history and mm -hmm. really briefly touch on that to pass surgical history, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah. So you're still a construction worker, you're fit and well in yourself otherwise? Yeah. Any medical problems or conditions? Not right Do you now. take medication on a regular basis at no. all, be it over the counter or otherwise? Lovely. No. Uh, any surgical history in the past? Any surgical operations, investigations, any kind of scopes? Uh, or, you know? I, think I, had, I think I had a hydrocele when I was like. 13. Okay, and, and what did they do for that for you? Um, I think they just incised it, drained it, and then and then closed whatever okay. Okay. they needed to, and everything's been fine. So okay, yeah. and in terms of uh, laterality, as in which side that was, could you remember at all? Um, both. Both sides? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Either, you were, you were 
unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And uh, the said symptoms, do they in any way resemble the symptoms that you had back then, if you can remember? To be honest, I just remember my testicles being larger. Mm -hmm. um, but, but I can't really mm -hmm. remember much apart sure. from that. And do you see any resemblance in terms of the size to that at this point at all? No. 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 Okay. Okay, good. And uh, any anything else in the uh, in terms of surgery or anything? No, that's it. No, good, good. Do you smoke at all? No. Alcohol. Sexually. Okay. And any anything that runs in the family, such as cancer, cardiovascular issues, heart problems, strokes, anything? No. Like, nothing there. No, no. I get stay in. No. Good. Okay. So, um, yeah, understandably, your concern here from what you expressed was you've had the lumps. You've done some reading around yeah. this. And uh, given that you're a fit and well otherwise a 34 year old male, yeah. uh, you've come in because you've kind of read what could be the most concerning of them all, the big C, understandably. Um, is there any anyone in the family or any friends, family, so you, anyone that might you, you've come across that, that would leave you concerned otherwise, regardless of saying this? Um, I suppose I suppose one of my my school friends mm. years ago mm. had. Had testicular cancer. Oh wow! Okay. So I think that just sort of hits home. Understandably, a bit. I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. Is he still with us? Or, yeah. Or maybe. Yeah. All, all fine. Fantastic. All fine. But obviously, understandable. Absolutely. I think you've very much done the right thing, yeah. and, and I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, I think if I was new, should I, I categorise wouldn't be yeah. thinking. Uh, so yes, I think what we do is um, it's very much now a matter of. Uh, examining the area, yeah. uh, have a, uh, bring a chaperone into the room given the sensitivity and the nature of yeah. the examination and we need you to remove your clothing uh, completely from the waist below. Mm -hmm. We'll have you lay on the uh, treatment couch oh, yeah. there and uh, once you've, um, we'll, we'll, I'll give you a drape, once you're ready I'll give you a call in and um, we'll, we'll do an examination from the whole area uh, and then perhaps uh, consider a referral to, um, to the uh, clinic for uh, an ultrasound in the area. Is that okay with you? That sounds great. Any questions at all? No, that's it. Yeah, before I go ahead. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks.